You guys might remember a thousand years ago, back in the times when there was a place called Disneyland, and they had a ride called Snow White Scary Adventures. Uh, and that ride was put under remodel to, to bring it up to date, to make it more current, along the lines of Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan. Well, a thousand years later, they finally finished it here in the present day of 2020. And today, Disney has graced us with a sneak peek, a preview of the new, well, it's not even Snow White's Scary Adventures anymore. It's now Snow White's Enchanted Wish, which I won't even get into that as far as the name goes because I don't know what to make of it. But anyway, what we're going to do is do one of our one of my favorite things, and that is uh, before and after. We're going to take a look at the new footage that has been provided to us through the Disney Parks blog and a little bit on TikTok, and we're going to compare it to the footage that we have from, you know, arch archived footage of uh, Snow White Scary Adventures. Now, it's not a complete ride-through. It's just highlights, but, so we'll do the best we can in terms of piecing it together. But, you know, having looked at it once already and studied it closely, uh, this is a fascinating... Actually, you know, all jokes aside, this is, this is going to be an interesting, uh, d you know, discussion here, the, the before and afters of this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to riding the ride. So, uh, without further ado, let's go to the tapes. All right, so there's Snow White as we know her today. Uh, and what we're going to try to do is take the uh, changes that we've discovered in the uh, post by Disney and put them in sort of chronological order. And we're going to start right here at the entrance. And uh, in, the, in the update on Disney Parks blog today, they talked about wanting to make the facade more cheery, more happy. Those were words that she used, uh, Kim Irvine, the, the uh, lead Imagineer. More cheery, more happy where before it was just many shades of gray and beige uh, in the facade for Snow White. Today, you'll see more blues and pinks, just generally a brighter, happier looking color palette. And of course, as mentioned in the intro, no longer Snow White's scary adventures, but rather Snow White's enchanted wish. And all that presumes a, a happier ride and a, a happy ending uh, which juxtaposes, obviously, with the ride as we know it today. Now, our changes are not limited to aspects of the ride itself. There are also changes to the interior queue, namely the dungeon scene, which, again, is, is many people's favorite. Uh, previously, it was, you know, very dark and ominous and scary. Today, it's, <laughs> well, it's, it's significantly not that, I should say. I... Uh, we get only a brief glimpse in the clips, but um, the way they are positioning this area now is it looks like Snow White's room. That's the only way I can describe it, uh, because that's Snow White's dress there hanging uh, in that little nook. That used to be the actual door to to the dungeon um, that would... Uh, I'm not sure if it actually led outside, but that is, that is a door that is there. But now it's a closet for Snow White's, uh, you know, outfit. And then instead of, you know, a skull and a skeleton and cobwebs on that table, it looks like a bowl of fruit. Uh, maybe some, uh, that looks like maybe a brush. I'm not sure. And then up above on the wall, you've got, it looks like they, that may be new. They may have cut that out. They've made a, another little nook for some brightly colored books and a tea kettle. And uh, a, is that a pigeon? You got some flowers up here. Uh, the, the, the book has changed. Now, I'm assuming that's the same book as before. Certainly, it's not on the same page. Uh, the dungeon scene previously had the book on the actual, the literal poison apple page of the spell book. So what they're pre presenting here doesn't appear to be a spell book. I can't really make out the text. Someday when we get, get a camera in there, we'll be able to figure that out. And then over on the right, you've got a very nice little uh, mirror and a sitting table for her to groom, maybe comb her hair, where that used to be also just, again, a, a very dark, ominous place with, I think, another spell book up there. Uh, so certainly they've changed the mood in this scene right up front. So let's go ahead and get on the ride and see what uh, changes are in store for us here. And we're going to stop right here actually because this is the scene of our first noticeable change. And this change comes to us from TikTok. Uh, you'll see the clothesline there. Well, first of all, the place appears to be much more well lit than it was previously. There was definitely a dark orange tint to the lighting scheme. Uh, back in the day, I don't know if this new lighting scheme is permanent or if this was done just for this for this shoot. It certainly is more well lit. Uh, and then you'll notice that describe it as okay. The clothesline there 
is kind of animated before, but it, according to this TikTok clip, it is certainly more animated. It's bouncing quite a bit more. This is about the same. There's snow. Now we'll stop here because uh, this is the scene of quite a bit of change. In this clip, we can see that uh, they've put Snow White down here with the boys, uh, and she is now animated. She, well, not animated, but she's moving. She's a she's an anima, not even an animatronic. Uh, she has movement. Uh, they put on a turntable, which, by the way, I'm very glad to see. That's very retro, very old school. She's just basically spinning around a circle. Uh, she has left the stairway. That's where we used to see her when we when we first turn around the corner. We see her in the stairway on our way down. The boys are their boys are playing their music. She has joined them downstairs. Uh, it looks like the boys are all about where they were before. Nothing much has changed here. Although I do think that they are just like the clothesline in the in the previous room, a little more animated, a little more bounce, you know, to their step as opposed to the, there was just very subtle movements before. It, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because uh, in the new footage, it's in a fixed camera, very well lit. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, we've got five or six seconds here to look at it. Whereas in the on-ride footage we have, uh, the camera's, a con you know, in motion and we only get about a second or two to see it. So it's difficult to be sure, but it does feel like things are a little bit more, a little bit more animated in this room. Okay, moving on into the next room, which is, you know, a dark foresty area. Our first introduction to the Evil Queen. Uh, and then we'll stop here because this is where we're going to see our first projection. They've actually added projections just like they did at Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan. So you've got the seven dwarves walking across the log on their way to go to work in the mine train. You can see the dwarves mine sign, which definitely uh, is a pre-existing set piece. If we go back to the prior footage, you can see that they've <laughs> the difference here again is, is night and day. Uh, with respect to the mood. Very dark, very ominous castle, foreboding in the distance there, far away on cliff's edge, dark, moonlit, scary. Uh, today, no, no sign whatsoever of, uh, of a dark, ominous castle. It's, uh, the sun is coming up. You see a, a lovely little uh, mountainscape in the background, a cute little critter watching them as they go by. That's all new. Uh, and it, it changes the tone again uh, from from scary to to optimistic and happy. Now, as far as that goes, um, I was a fan of Snow White just as it was. So I was kind kind of you know uh, I, I I would have liked to have seen that scene stay. It does need to be somewhat scary, but I'm okay with the with the with with this as well. I will say that uh, I like the use of of the uh, projection here, or of, of the you know because it's it's in a it's in a place that uh, serves it well. It, you, it, looks, it looks legitimate, like it should be there. In much the same way, uh, some of the scenes from Alice in Wonderland, where they, they did fit in nicely. So this is, this is a well-conceived projection, in my opinion. Okay, let's continue. And we're gonna stop again right here, quickly. That projection is a very nice segue because it takes us into the mine where the dwarves are working. And uh, this takes us to our next new element, which I, I think is the location of the next new element. Right where that uh, barrel full of jewels is, I believe, this scene featuring Dopey sitting amongst uh, another another cart full of jewels. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the scene from the Seven Dwarves Mine Train ride at Florida, uh, you know, complete with the uh, diamonds in the, instead of the eyes. Uh, instead of, but it, these are just plain white diamonds as opposed to the colored ones that you'll find in Florida at Walt Disney World. Otherwise, I, it's hard to tell the, 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 what's going on behind him. There's no reference points behind him that I can make out from the original ride. So I feel like this is all new, all new uh, setup here for him. And I, 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 I make this assumption because the, you know, the footage that we're going to see here in a minute precludes it from occurring anywhere else, really. <laughs> like I said, we'll see. Um, but the, take a look, though, before we move on at the... The animation for the eyes, you can see those are actually the eyes move around. That's pretty neat. Turning left into the mine, you can see there was just stone and woodwork there, but it does, this scene has transformed uh, into a completely different, well, I shouldn't say completely different, it's still a mine scene, but they have really 
plussed it, in my opinion, in ways that are very positive. When you ride next, you'll see so many brightly colored jewels uh, embedded into the rock work, uh, all animated and lit up, beautiful looking. Uh, and you've also got an animation, or I should say a projection, uh, with what I, th I think, is that Grumpy? Uh, doing a little uh, pick work there, and the rock's trying to get his jeweled out. Again, another well-placed uh, projection here because it doesn't intrude on the story at all. It, it's, it's, a, it's an accent to the action as opposed to dominating the action. Uh, it's, they're not relying on the screen. They're not relying on the projection. They're just using it to supplement the story. And then at the end of the hall, uh, you've got Doc there admiring a lovely red jewel. Uh, this is a very nicely realized set piece as well, not a projection, but, you know, uh, uh, a fully practical effect. I'm enjoying this quite a bit, especially when you go back and look at what was there before, if we go back to the uh, old footage. From this perspective, uh, at the end of the hall, it's just it was just carts and rocks and not much, right? It was just the, the, the wooden supports, the stones, and the veins of jewels that didn't really look right? <laughs> Not as fun. Uh, they kind of caught your eye a little bit, gave you a little bit of light, but there wasn't much going on there. And then, um, so, I mean, having, having Doc there, you know, admiring the, the stone the, or the jewel is, is much more improved. And then also another look here at that scene on the right, or the scene where um, they have the projection now, it was just, it was nothing. It was just literally nothing there. Uh, so this is a good example of, of, of well-placed, well-conceived updates. Leaving the mine, you've got your uh, your vultures up there. We're heading into the dark forest. Old Reliable, the Evil Queen, turning into the old hag. A dungeon scene with a skeleton. Telling you what you can see, obviously. <laughs> Another old hag scene. Uh, she's coming up with the uh, poison apple bit. Notice I have not stopped to show you any new updates. And that's because there aren't any. They didn't, well, they didn't show any in the footage uh, provided today by Disney. The Dark Forest appears the very same. All of this uh, looks just like it did before. It, uh, is it, or I should say no updates were given to replace anything that we're seeing here. But we will stop here. Because there's one thing we know, we know we're getting a new ending. We didn't get any, there's no clips of that new ending uh, provided by, by Disney today, but we've heard, we have concept art. We know that they are gonna make it a happy ending, uh, which means that they, they need space to do that, and this is the only logical place for them to do it. So my assumption is this scene won't last, but having said that, I'm curious to find out or know how they resolve the drama that occurred just before this with the dark force and, and the evil queen and the poison apple and all that. I'm not sure what their, what their plan is uh, as far as that goes. So we do need some resolution. I, it may just be another awkward ending. Who knows? The one remaining question that I have, uh, because they don't really give you any context, is this image of Snow White with a bluebird. Now, I, don't, I can't think of a place where this would exist on ride today except for the end because obviously it's it, it has a very happy sort of uh happy ever after type quality to it she's at peace uh the birds are happy you know uh, and that just doesn't fit anywhere else in the ride that we you know that we can sense up until now so my assumption the likelihood is that this is snow white from the final scene and that it may not be it may not be the actual set that she's going to appear on because it looks like the background there is very plain. There's not much going on behind her in terms of, you know, a, a realized set. So this could be, just be a temporary place for her or it could be a second iteration of Snow, uh, maybe saying goodbye to guests as they deboard uh, the, 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 their, their mine train cart, you know, right at the exit. That's one possibility. Otherwise, that pretty much sums up uh, the changes, the updates uh, provided by Disney today on actually the, the, the 83rd anniversary of, of Snow White appearing at the Carthay Theater. 
uh, my final thoughts. Um, there's no reference or visuals for any of the scenes in the Dark Forest, the scenes with the Evil Queen or the Old Hag. So my assumption is that they are still there, including obviously this scene, which basically is the special effects center of the entire ride up till now. Uh, so the fact, you know, I have to assume that they haven't changed any of that. Maybe they, I don't know if you can make that more cheery. What's the point? That's supposed to be scary. So uh, I have to think that all of these scenes in the middle of the ride are still here. Uh, and again, there's no reference or visual for the final scene with the doors on the cliff's edge defeating the Evil Queen, but I don't think it has survived, whereas the middle parts do. I don't think this scene survived, as I mentioned. I, I think that they need space for that new happy ending. Um, but again, that's just an assumption. We'll know more. They're, they're going to hold something back, obviously, for us to to uh, to to realize, to to come to discover when the ride does open. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm pretty pleased with this. There there are things that I'm going to miss if they are indeed gone. Uh, but everything we saw today was done pretty much at no expense to the original ride, in my opinion. The upgraded scenes were in something of dead areas that already, you know, that, that there was nothing happening uh, on that part of the ride anyway. So I'm okay with that. Uh, and I'm glad to see that they, they demonstrated some restraint with respect to the projections uh, and to Snow White's animatronic, if that's the word you want to use. Very old school. I like that. Uh, I, I, I do enjoy the, the fact that, you know, they, it doesn't have to be, not everything has to be bigger and better. I do appreciate Bell and Beast, you know, for the new Beauty and the Beast ride. I do appreciate the technology and the, the, the evolution of a dark ride that they've accomplished there. But there's something to be said for not everything has to be bigger and better. Some things are, are better small and simple. You need small and simple. And this is a beautiful uh, instance of that. So I'm, I appreciate that they didn't go overboard. Uh, I would say this compares very much to the uh, updates that they did at Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan. Uh, in fact, uh, this might even be a better upgrade than for the other two. Uh, so I, I can't wait to see what they can do for Pinocchio uh, or Mr. Toads, which obviously, I mean, they, they can't not do it. I, it probably won't be anytime soon now, considering the circumstances, but I, I, I'm looking forward to especially Toads to see what they can do for Toads. Otherwise, that's it for this, uh, for this update, guys. I hope you enjoyed our before and after look at uh, Snow White's Enchanted Wish. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to tell me what that means. Uh, thanks for watching. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to click the notification bell. You can follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked and on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney. That's fresh with no E. And if you like the show and would like to show your support, please consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbake, where we're providing uh, new content, different content than what you might find here on Fresh Baked or on Royal Dorks. It's exclusive to Patreon, so check that out. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!